Well, it is Sunday, and whilst my phone mount for my car doesn't seem to want to stay attached, so that was 10 minutes of my life that was up and down, um, I am out in the CRZ, I am having a cruise, I am chilling, I'm listening to The Prodigy, and generally chilling out, and it's been a great week at Dino Days, plenty happening, uh, Friday was busy, even though it was good Friday, we got some good mapping done, so a couple of EP3s mapped, um, lots in the week, like modifying and mapping an FN2. That was great, a great vehicle that was. Some good quality parts, like your Tegua 4 to 1, your Tegua 70 mil, and your hybrid racing induction kit. Great car, mapped up well using the Ecotech software. It's generally been very positive. We've had lots of work in at Uncle Keith's paint shop and more to come next week. I'm really, really enjoying the process and, and making those uh, videos for Uncle Keith's paint shop. Although I am still learning that I am still learning how it all works there, which is uh, which is a bit of an eye opener because you just don't realise how much hard work goes into making something look good. Um, I don't know, I mean, I mean, I've not had paint on my car before, so maybe that's why. Maybe you generally you drop it off to a body shop and it gets done and they hand it you back and you don't really know the full process. I think that's the beauty of the Uncle Keith's Paint Shop YouTube channel, which of course you can go and follow for me, that'd be amazing. Uh, but seeing something from start to finish is really rewarding and seeing and seeing the, the the stuff that goes into it and the hard work and seeing Keith's knowledge shine really really good really I'm really enjoying it uh, next week hopefully uh, I'm having the windscreen took out of my FN2 interestingly enough um, you pay someone to come and take the windscreen out of a car doesn't necessarily mean that they're not going to break it when they take it out so when you're getting your roof rust done and stuff. You've got to have your windscreen taken out. And I've got a budget for a new windscreen in case auto screen or whoever else comes out to take it out. If they do smash it, I've got to get a new one put in. So I'm going to look at the condition of my windscreen on the FN2 before I start and decide whether to put that one back in or whether to buy a new one anyway so it's there. And then get Keith to do the roof rust. He's also going to do the front bumper and the rear bumper. There's lots to do on that on that championship white FN2, um, including I've got an alloy that's been totally mullered. So uh, I am look again. I am looking forward to seeing that process. But uh, the roof rust on the FN2 is a very common thing, so I'm not too disheartened with it. I know it's going to look mint when it's finished. I don't know the process, so I think it'd be good to make a video showing the whole process from start to finish. Um, so yeah, that'd be good. Uh, we've got plenty of work booked in the uh, the actual main workshop this week. We've got some maps to do. I know we're working Bank Holiday Monday to get through the backlog of work that we've got. Um, I think we're mapping an FN2 Monday, which is tomorrow, which is Easter Monday. Um, yeah, lots to lots to do, but all very all very positive. I'm, I'm happy to report. Uh, I've had a nice uh, a nice early Sunday morning watching and catching up on a lot of YouTube. Watched some YouTube last night. Uh, watched all my favourites, so Carbunga Car Diaries, Robster V Tech, people like that. Uh, down at Silverstone, um, great videos, great, great videos. Really enjoyed uh, Barnsey's Barnsey Silverstone video. Uh, just caught up with his. Um, his, his videos. If you haven't already got and followed Bodzy, go and do that. Bodzy FN2, really nice bloke, and that's what for me makes the videos that he's just he's just like me, just a an enthusiast that that loves the vehicles, loves the scene. So go and check him out. Uh, I watched Gareth at Expression Culture's video. Um, <laughs> Gareth at Expression Culture is doing so well right now. You've got to go and follow him. He's picking up some awesome sponsors uh, and well-deserved. Uh, I'm really proud that I've been like his first sponsor and it's nice to see him continue and pick up more sponsors. And he's just putting out some great content. So do go and follow him. I don't think it's going to be long before he's monetized and he's on his way to the top. And I did say to Gareth that I hope he remembers us when he's at the top and he's a full-time YouTuber and I'm still scratching around in my office, spinning around on my chair. So, uh, well done, Gareth. Well done. Keep the videos coming. Top man. Um, yeah, I've got more YouTube to watch. I've also got YouTube to, to make. So I've got editing 
to do today. I'm supposed to be doing a load of paperwork, but quite frankly, I'm need I need I need a break. So I don't know whether I'm going to do it or not. But we shall we shall see. It's all uh, it's all in hand. I've got plenty of time to do it. But um, but yeah. So I think that's I think that's pretty much my Sunday drum. No, I, I'm literally having a bit of a cruise, listening to the prodigy as per usual, reflecting on my week and thinking about things for for, for next week. A uh, few little bits and bobs, maybe you guys can help me out on. I'm I'm considering taking cryptocurrency payments for parts. So if that's something you're into and you know more about it than me, you know, like you guys, help me out with the Discord server. If you have got some advice for me, if you've bought parts using cryptocurrency before, let me know. I've not done it. I've never paid for anything in cryptocurrency, but I do own a little bit and I am interested in, in seeing that develop. So please let me know if you have any experience of that. I'd be really, uh, really grateful for your feedback on that. Um, we normally have like a code word for videos at Dino Days, so I'm really enjoying dropping those and seeing you guys respond. It really helps us out, lets us know who's paying attention, who's watching to the end of the video. No code words for this video, but just so that the rest of our community who are new can see who all you guys are, let's have it in this video. Drop your YouTube channel below if you've got a YouTube channel. If you haven't got a YouTube channel, then drop what car you've got in the comments below. Let's get our community talking again. I know I've been away or out of action for a little time. I know we've been very busy at Dino Days, but I really want to see this community grow and do well again. So let's uh, let's talk. It's good to talk. Let's let us know what car you're driving and what YouTube channels you've got below, and let's hope hopefully everyone will subscribe to each other and we'll keep that moving forward. There's been some great, great, great content pumped out by people I know recently. Uh, I'm not a mechanic, but great videos. He's doing a case swap, you've got to check him out. He's local to us as well, so hopefully at some point we can get involved with that, whether it be a bit of paint or whether it be a bit of mapping. Uh, looking forward to it. So, uh, so yeah, so that's, you know, that's me for Sunday. Let us, uh, let us know what you're doing in the comments below. And, uh, and generally, thank you for all the support, as per usual. And I'm sure I will see you in the week when me and Richard will be mapping some cool stuff. Um, I've got some special offers on parts coming up. So let me know. Again, let me know what car you're driving because there's definitely something in my storeroom that I think I would like to get, uh, get sold. Uh, I'm going to whittle down my stock now as, uh, as supply uh, picks up again from the bigger boys like Tegua, Jap Speed and, 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 and K&N and Powerflex as their stocks start to rise again as supply chain difficulties ease. Uh, I think I'll probably hold a little less stock than I did before, but we shall see. Um, I've, always got, I've always got the big parts that we sell a lot of uh, in stock as as and when I need them but the little bits that I don't normally always always stock I think I'm going to get through those do some special offers I've got loads of dump valves and things like that I've got to be I've got to be getting rid of so uh, if you own a, if you own a Mitsubishi Colt now is the time to speak to me Mr Daniel Harris and get yourself a deal if you own an FN2 give me a shout there's parts on the shelf that I can sell you that I am going to be doing some discounts on so yeah that's uh, that's pretty much me set up for next week um, yeah I think I'm going to go and do a little bit now a little bit of YouTube editing I'm going to buy myself a new phone mount because I think it's the magnetic side of that sticks onto the the Yoshi bit that's been letting me down so but uh, but anyway peace out much love from Dino Days. Thank you for your support, as per usual. And uh, I hope you're having a great bank holiday weekend, enjoying Easter. Hope you're not totally full of chocolate. Hope you're avoiding the Kinder chocolate because we don't want anyone poorly. But, uh, but generally, peace out. Have a great one. I hope the sun shines on you and we'll, uh, we'll see you in the week. Fast.